everyone, welcome! If you're here, do the usual thing that we do, sign up in the comment section. Write your name so that I can give you guys a shout out, okay? Once again, hello and welcome to everybody. If you're here, type your name in the comment section so that I can give you guys a shout out. Hi! Hi, Cheryl. Nice to see you here. Is that your name, Cheryl? Or are you using your mom's Facebook? Or do you really just want to say hi? <laughs> Hi Janine, there you go. Hi Janine. Nice to see you Janine. Janine, how old are you? Tell us how old you are in the comment section, okay? Once again, hello and welcome to everybody. Welcome to another session of Tiny Townies sessions. <laughs> that was repetitive. Another Tiny Townies sessions. We are going to be having our art class today, so if you are going to be joining us, leave your name in the comment section so that I can say hi to you. Hi there, Miguel. Hi, Anna. Oh, I am Amber and Amaya. Hi. Our usual people are here. I love it. Okay. While you guys are waiting for... Hi, Noah. While you guys are waiting for class to start, since we are going to be starting in about eight minutes more, I'm going to flash to you guys the materials that we need today, okay? We're going to need a little bit... Um, specific materials today because we're gonna do something really cool. It's both a science experiment and an artwork And it's gonna be fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna flash this here I'm just gonna hold this up so that you guys know what to do So that's what we're gonna need today. You're gonna need cups Maybe about two or three cups depending on how many how much um, color you have cups water liquid soap straw spoon Paint or food coloring, any color, absolutely any color. And the paint can be a um, watercolor, the paint can be poster paint, or it can be a um, washable paint, or up to you, whatever you have. Paper, if you have thick paper, that's fine. If you don't have thick paper, any kind of paper will do. Okay? Hi, Terzo! Nice to see you. Hi, Janine. And I know it's here. And hi! Hi, Ara! Okay, so I'm just gonna keep flashing this. I'm gonna put this right over here so that you guys can see it. I'm gonna leave this right here so you guys can see what we're gonna need today. Okay, so you have time to gather. Can you use water-based markers? Yes, if you don't have any of the paint or food coloring, you can use water-based markers. Get your water-based markers for that, all right? Again, if you don't have your paint or food coloring, get your water-based markers because we will still be able to use that but make sure that you have your cups and your water and your soap and your straw and your spoon okay so something like this you only need one each one spoon and one straw i'm using a reusable spoon and of course a reusable straw so that we don't throw it out and um paint any kind of paint so you can use um tempera paint or poster paint or watercolor if you have whoops oops teachers board fell over all right there um if you have something like this like a watercolor palette that's also possible get your watercolor palettes um so if you don't have liquid paint if you have like a paint on a palette that's also fine there and if you have um food coloring maybe your mom has some food coloring or your grandma or your aunt or whoever cooks at home, maybe your dad too cooks at home. Get your food coloring. Any color will do. Doesn't matter how many color you have. You can have like just one or you can have just two or you can have like four or five, it's up to you. And then cups with water in it. Liquid soap. Dishwashing soap is fine. Actually dishwashing so washing soap is great, but liquid soap is And I have some several cups here with water already. That. Yeah, we're gonna do something really cool today. Our class for today is both um, an art class and a science experiment. Well, it's not really a much of an experiment, but it's just cool to experiment with it. So I'm just gonna keep flashing this so that you can see. There. And teacher Drew, the theme for this week. Do you guys know the theme for the week? What's this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and our wolf. Pigs and the wolf. Again, if you don't have any of the paint or the watercolor uh, or the 
If you don't have paint or food coloring, water-based markers are also fine. Go get your water-based markers because we can still use them. You can still join us if you don't have paint. You can use water-based markers, okay? Teacher has experimented with this activity many times so that I can make sure that everyone can join even if you don't have paint or food coloring, all right? You can get both paint and food coloring if you want. So I have samples for you guys. If you only have paint, if you only have food coloring, or if you only have markers, I'm gonna show you. What are we making today? I'm going to tell you in a bit. It's gonna be a surprise, but we are going to paint with something really amazing. We're gonna make an artwork with something really amazing. We're gonna be using our breath, just like the wolf in the story, the three little pigs. We're gonna be using our huff and puff breath. <gasps> So you gotta make sure that you save up your breath. Make sure that you don't um, exert your blowing too much because your head's gonna hurt. So breathe. Save your breath for our art activity, okay? So again, these are the things that we're gonna need today. Cups. Water, liquid soap. Straw, spoon, paint, or food coloring, paper, thick paper if possible. And if you don't have paint or food coloring, water-based markers are fine. Alright, we'll be starting in about two minutes. Now if you don't have either, or if you're a little bit, if you're not, if you feel like you just want to watch today, that's also fine. Because eventually when you have the materials, or when you, you are in the mood to create a science experiment slash artwork, you can remember what we did today, and you can do it at home. Hey, those are such cute emojis, I know. Three little pigs and the wolf. The big bad wolf. Alright, we're going to be starting in about two minutes. But don't worry, I'll give you some time to gather your materials. And I'll explain to you guys what we're going to do in a bit, okay? But this is going to be so exciting. I'm so excited for you guys. Because this is actually one of teacher's favorite art activities. This is one of my favorite things to do when I have an art class with kids. Because it's so much fun. It's a little bit messy, but it's so much fun. So yeah. Today we're going to be making a little bit of a mess. So be ready for that. But don't worry, you can always clean up after yourself. It's not a problem. Okay. We have about one more minute. I like what you did with the hair on. Yeah. Yeah, there's um, a pig with three strands of hair. One with two, one with one. Yeah. Just so you know which one is which. I don't even know which one is which. I just know that there are three pigs. One made the house of straw, one made the house of sticks, and one made the house of bricks. One, two, three. Yeah. So we're gonna have for today. Yeah, I remember when I used to see you a lot in Montessori. But then we're all stuck at home now. <laughs> so we're all just seeing each other online. Are you guys, are any of you guys um, starting online school already? I know that a lot of schools have already started, but I think most of you are going to be starting school in August. <gasps> August! Yay! Hi, Cynthia! I'm so glad that you have all the stuff ready. Hi, Jill. We'll be starting in one minute, okay? Hi, Cheska. Oh, thank you, Jill. These are the three little piggies. They're very round, as pigs are. What are the names of the piggies? I don't know. Maybe we should name them after... Um, I will name them after... Um, this one is Cooks. This one is Zap. This one is Jor. <laughs> Those are the names of our piggies. <laughs> wow, we have a dry run for class on July 28th. Oh, that's like a... Next week! That's next week! Are you guys excited to start online class? Or are you scared of online class? Don't be scared of online class. It's kind of like this one. Except you're just gonna be more... There's gonna be more of you. And it's gonna be more frequent. Like an everyday thing. All right, it is time for us to start. So I'm just gonna leave this here so that those who catch up, those who are gonna catch up or who are gonna be joining us a little bit late can still see our materials. 
Okay, now hello everybody and welcome to our class for today. We have another session of Tiny Towny Sessions. Oh, teacher keeps saying session of Tiny Towny Sessions and it's the same thing over and over. Okay, but okay, so we are going to be having another class today and I'm so excited because it's one of my favorite activities and I hope that you guys have your materials ready because we are going to have a lot of fun today. Now before we do that, of course, we're going to put this aside first and I'm going to introduce to you well, we're going to start off the way we usually start class, which is to sing the magic of story. So if you are here, get ready. We are going to sing. And if you know the song, I hope that you sing and dance along with us, okay? All right, get ready for the magic of stories. Side to side. Why do we sing this all the time? Because it's a good warm-up. Follow teacher. And so that you guys feel happy when you're doing the class. And look! Have you traveled to crystal seas? Hi, Lumina! Ran on rainbows and swung through trees. All you need is to find the key. Read a book! Read a book, you'll see. Telescope! A world that the eyes can't see. Be a monster! With furry monsters and kings and queens. And can you pre pretend to play chess? High five! How with the magic of stories? With the magic of stories, you can be anything. And be post. I'm gonna be a pig. <laughs> Climb a mountain, swim the seas, find a treasure, come with me. Going to the screen, you can be anything you want. I'll be the big bad wolf to be a with a magic of stories. Hi, Sam. You can be anything. I'm gonna be a snake. You want to be climb a mountain, swim the sea. to the screen. You can be anything you want. And to whoever's with you. Anything you want. Anything you want. And I'm going to be an angel. And then a ninja. <laughs> All right. Well, hello and welcome everybody. And thank you for joining us. Welcome to another Tiny Towny session. My name is Teacher Nini from Make Believe Productions. And this is, of course, hosted by the Alabang Town Center Facebook page. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for today. Do you guys remember? I think I've told you many, many times what the theme of this session would be. Well, this week we are doing the Three Little Pigs. And how many of you joined Teacher Leslie last Monday? Hi, Ayana! You guys are back. I'm going to flash this here. While I'm talking, I'm going to flash the materials that we need today. So for those of you who just came in now, you can see what we will need, okay? So I'm just going to keep talking while you guys check this out. All right. Hi, Hannah. Hmm. Oh, I would prefer the three pigs over the three wolves because three wolves are scary. <laughs> All right. So today we are going to be celebrate. Well, we are going to do an art activity. That is based on the Three Little Pigs story. Do you guys remember the story of Three Little Pigs? For those of you who joined us last Monday, I'm sure that the story is still fresh in your minds. But for those of you who weren't able to, do you guys remember? Hi, Kristen. Okay. Well, I'm just going to recap the story quickly. So there were three little pigs. They were siblings. And then one day they told their mom, Mom, Mom. Uh, we want to go and see the world. We want to go out and see the world. So they went out and, see the wor and saw the world. And each of them built their own houses. One made of straw, one made of sticks, one made of bricks. And the big bad wolf came. And the big bad wolf wanted to eat the little piggies. Oh my gosh, she wanted to eat the little pigs. That's so freaky. But the, the, pigs, were f the pigs felt like they were so secure inside their houses. But they were wrong. Because the little, the, the big bad wolf had a special power. He had the special power of his breath. <gasps> Can you guys do that? Can you guys blow like that? <gasps> you guys have to practice because we're going to use that in our art class today. You guys are going to be doing some blow art. Some 
um, you're going to be using your breath. And he tried to attack the first pig, and the first pig's house of straws fell down. So the little pig ran to the second house, and the house of sticks, so the two of them were there. And then the wolf came, the, came and then the wolf was able to huff and puff. <sighs> and then, oh no, where are we going? So they went to the house of bricks, and the third house, even if the wolf tried to huff and puff and puff and puff and puff and puff and, puff and blow and blow, Nothing happened because the bricks were so strong, right, guys? And yes, the wolf tried to eat the pigs, that's right. And the moral of the story, of course, is to always be prepared because um, the, the pig who made the house of bricks, it took him forever to finish building his house. But because of his hard work, he was safe. That's right. That's fine. If you only have bond paper, that's also fine. That's okay. Just make sure that you put something under on it. Uh, maybe uh, if you have like a cardboard, like a scratch paper or something, so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't stain the table or something. All right, all right. So we are going to be doing something really special that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So once again, just one last time, we are going to be using cups, water, liquid soap, straw, spoon, paint or food coloring, or if you don't have paint or food coloring, washable markers will do, and paper, thick paper if possible if you have, but if not, regular bond paper is fine. So. Now I'm going to answer the question that everyone's been asking. Teacher, what are we going to do today? Well, how many of you guys here love bubbles? Can you raise your hand if you love bubbles? I mean, teacher won't see you if you raise your hand. Can you comment in the comment section if you love bubbles? Say, I love bubbles. I love bubbles. Oh, thank you, Kirsten. I love you. I love that you join me every single time. Thank you for joining me. All right, how many of you love bubbles? If you love bubbles, say, I love bubbles. I love bubbles. I love bubbles. I love bubbles. I think you guys are waiting. Okay, well, I'm sure that a lot of you guys love bubbles. I am not a kid anymore. <laughs> I'm not a kid anymore, but I love bubbles. Bubbles still make me so happy. And um, there was one time I actually bought a bubble wand for myself, even if I'm a grown up. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to be painting with bubbles. Oh my gosh. Painting with bubbles. Have you guys ever tried painting with bubbles? If you have tried painting with bubbles, can you say, I've tried painting with bubbles? Or can you say, me, I've done it, I've done it. But for those of you who haven't tried painting with bubbles, you are gonna be in for a treat because today it's gonna be so much fun. Oh my gosh. And that's why I'm, I also said that uh, this is an experiment. Because we are going to be using science, we're going to be using our breath to create the bubbles. Now I'm just going to be showing you what the what painting with bubbles looks like so that you guys kind of has, um, have an idea what it will look like. It will look like something like this. So that's what it looks like when the bubbles pop and the colors spread. Can you see? It's a bit light, of course, because colors here. And if you can see, you can see how the bubbles popped. So you can see where the bubbles were. And when they pop, the color splashed onto the paper and it's gonna be so much fun! I'm so excited! So it's time for you guys to bring out your materials. Um, bring out your water. First thing you're gonna need, of course, is to bring out your cups with water. So I'm gonna open mine. I have several cups here. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna switch on over now to the other view. So you guys get your um, get your cups, get your um, cups with water, or your empty cups and water on them. And get them ready on the table and then get your paper as well. Get all your materials ready on your table. And teacher is going to show you what we're going to do. All right. All right. Hi, Caleb. Okay. We are ready. I'm going to um, switch the angles so that you guys... Oh, look. This is my niece. She's very cute. <laughs> all right. Can you see teacher's table? Okay. So... I'm gonna put my paper aside first. Didn't catch the list of materials. Um, okay, we were gonna we we're gonna ask our make believe magic maker to please repost in the comment section the materials that we need. But for now, we're going to be using water. So for those of you who are just joining us now, you're gonna be needing cups with water, just about an inch of water, not a lot of water. Cups with water, and if you have either paint or food coloring, paint. If you have paint, use your paint. Uh, the cups will depend on how many colors you want to use. So if you want to use just two colors, you can use just two colors. If you want to use three colors or four or five, depends on you. If you're using um, liquid, if you're using liquid uh, paint or food coloring. So I have some food coloring here. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks like if it's watercolor. I uh, sorry, if it's paint, if it's um, 
food coloring, or if it's watercolor, if you're going to use watercolor, or if it's marker. So it's very important first. If you're just using this kind of paint, or if you're just using markers, you only need one cup. All right, once again, if you're only using this kind of paint and these markers, washable markers, you only need one cup. But if you are going to be using these colors, like post liquid paint or um, food coloring, you need to have um, one cup per color that you have, all right? So for liquid paint and for food coloring, you need to have one cup each for every color that you have. But if you are going to use, and then spoon and a straw, all right? So we are going to, I'm going to give you guys some examples of what we're going to do. If you have, first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your soap. You're going to get your soap. And I want you to put a little bit, just a bit, on the water. Just so that it bubbles. Just like a few drops. Just put a few drops of liquid soap on your water. All right, and then maybe you can get your straw or your spoon and just mix it a little bit just so that the soap mixes in with the water. All right. I'm going to be using four colors, okay? And I'm going to show you. All right, for those of you who don't have liquid paint or for those of you who don't have food coloring, and you only have um, this kind of paint or the water-based markers, you can um, just leave your bubble solution this way. Just leave your water and your soap. Just stay put, and I'll tell you what you're going to do next. But for those of you who have paint or food coloring, I'm going to need you guys to mix in some of it into your water, all right? So if you're using paint, you're going to need to put a lot more there just a good amount of paint because um, paint doesn't uh, especially if it's water-based paint it doesn't mix as well into the water or it doesn't get very colorful unless you put a lot of it all right so again if you're gonna be using paint just mix it into the water and the soap and just make sure that you mix it mix okay I'll wait for a little bit again if you have your if you have your water Put in the liquid soap, just a few drops, just so that it bubbles. Just so that it bubbles a little bit. And then once you have your solution, just put one, uh, just put a couple drops of your color, either your paint or your food coloring. One on each, one color per cup, all right? If you're going to be using food coloring, you only need a few drops because food coloring actually makes it very colorful. There. Just use a few drops. No need to put a lot. And then just mix. All right. So this is an example of what it will look like. So if you use paint, it's not very clear. It's going to be... um very uh it, it's not going to be a clear mixture but if you use food coloring it's a clear mixture so that's the difference all right between the paint mixture and the food coloring mixture but either way both of them are going to work all right again for those of you who don't have liquid paint and you only have something like this or water col or water based markers just leave your bubble solution this way first i'll give you guys your instructions shortly all right and you can do that with all the colors that you have. So teacher was able to do it with her red. I have red paint. And red paint. And I also have blue food coloring. So I have four colors. I'm going to be using four colors for now. And then I'm also going to use my, this one, to demonstrate the, others, the other way to do it. Okay? Why do you have to use the straw to mix? Well, you can use the spoon to mix. You can use the straw to mix. It doesn't matter as long as you have a straw because you're going to be using that. All right. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to finish up mixing your mixtures. Mixing your mixtures. <laughs> to finish up making your mixtures. So again, if you're using paint, you have to add a lot more. 
So maybe if you have like one or two inches of water, maybe you need one teaspoon of paint so that the color really comes out, all right? But if you're, if you're using food coloring, you only need like one or two drops and it's gonna be super colorful already. And then you can mix it. When you mix it, make sure that it bubbles. That's how you know that you put enough soap in it. If it doesn't bubble, maybe you'll have to add a little bit more soap in it, okay? All right. You're using paint. Okay, well, if you're using paint, you're gonna have to add a bit more to the mixture, all right? Okay, I'll give you guys about one more minute for everybody to make their mixes. Mixes, mixes, mixes. For those of you who are done, sit tight. I'm going to um, show you in a little bit what you're going to do, especially those who are going to be using the color palettes, their paint palettes, those who have paint palettes like this, and those who are going to be using their water-based markers. Hold tight. Sit tight. All right, so keep your plain water there for those of you who don't have paint or food coloring. I'm just going to put all the materials here so that they are ready when I need them. And get your spoon and your straw. Okay, if you're using markers, that's okay. Just make sure that you have your bubble solution ready. Again, for those of you who are mar doing, using markers and paint palettes, hold on. Wait for teacher to tell you what to do. We're just waiting for everybody to finish making their mixtures and we're almost ready. Okay, last 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, now teacher, what are we going to do? Why do we have a straw and why do we have a spoon? Well, I'm going to be showing you something really, really cool. So choose any color now. For those of you who have, um, uh, actually anybody, if you are using the plain mixture, you're going to do this too. But for those of you who are using the colored mixture, choose any color. And I want you guys to put your straw in like this. And I'm going to ask you guys to blow into the mixture to make bubbles, just like this. Like that. All right. Make sure you blow into it. Don't drink the mixture. Please make sure that you don't drink the mixture. Just blow into it like that. And then once you have your bubbles, I want you to scoop some of them out. Just the bubbles. Don't get any of the paint out. Just the bubbles. And then scoop them out and put them on your paper. And just leave them there. Because once the bubbles pop, they're going to pop with the color onto the paper. And you're going to be making some bubble splashes on your paper. All right. Again, blow into the mixture. Scoop the, scoop the paint out. So I'll try this with the red one. Scoop the paint out. Sorry, scoop the bubbles. Just the bubbles. Don't scoop the liquid. Just the bubbles. And then just scoop them out and put them on the paper and leave them to pop. Don't pop them yourself. Oops. There. Just scoop the bubbles out. No need to scoop the mixture out. Just the bubbles. And you'll find that when the bubble pops, the color also pops with it. And it adds the splash to your paper. Like that. Ta-da! Isn't that so cool? Ta-da! No, I'm not putting it in my mouth. You don't draw, you don't drink it. Just blow into the mixture. Just blow the, from the straw, just blow into the mixture. No sipping, just blowing, okay? Just blow it into the mixture. All right? Now, for those of you who have plain bubbles, I'm going to teach you first. For those of you who are going to be using, so for those of you who are, who have these mixtures, you can go ahead and switch colors anytime you want. So just keep switching. Scoop them out. Again, just scoop the bubbles. Don't put them in your mouth. No drinking of the mixture, okay? Just blow into the mixture and scoop the bubbles out and wait for them to pop. 
if the colors don't come out, maybe you have to add more paint. Sometimes maybe there's too much water. That's why the paint, the color doesn't come out. But if it's coming out, then it means that you're doing it perfectly. All right, now for those of you who don't have the paint mixture, don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. Let me just put this in the side first. Again, no drinking, please. All right, for those of you who have the plain mixture, this is what you're gonna do, all right? So mix a, mix a little bit and then just blow into the bubbles. Try to make small ones, not the big ones. And then scoop some out. For those of you who are using this mixture, uh, this paint palette, scoop them out, watercolor. Watercolor is actually the best. And then just wet the paper a little bit. Leave the bubbles there. Leave any of the bubbles, any of the bubbles mixtures, and then just choose a color. I'm going to use a uh, purple and then just sprinkle it onto the bubbles like that. And you'll find that it actually colors the bubbles. See the mixture, the paint mixes with the bubbles. And when the bubble pops, it looks like that. All right. That's for those who are using this kind of mixture of oh, this this palette for those of you using markers hold on wait for your turn i'm gonna do you next i'm gonna do your art next all right so again for those of you who are using this palette this watercolor a watercolor palette choose any color from the mix so say for example i'm gonna get red put your bubble there i'm gonna get red make sure that your brush is very wet and then just Put it on top of the bubble and when it pops it's going to leave that kind of mark all right so see there are different ways to paint with bubbles using different methods all right now next for our water wa washable markers kids you guys are going to create some circles Circle, circle, circles on your paper. Oh, this is marked. This. Any kind of circles. Just keep making some. So it looks kind of like bubbles. Just color them onto your paper. And then blow bubbles again. And then scoop them out. And put them right on top of your markers because when it gets wet it's not gonna have the same effect of course it all differ it all varies because you're using different methods but look even if you use the watercolor uh, sorry the water-based marker there's also still that bubble popping effect so sometimes the colors mix like that and the bubble pops like that and it differs so this is what it looks like when you use washable markers and you put the bubbles on top of it this is what it looks like when you use a watercolor palette and this is what it looks like when you use the paint mixture all right so you can do absolutely that all of those things you can mix and match you can um try it out for yourself and you can make your own abstract art just like this teacher's gonna make one right now now that I've demonstrated how to use it, oh, now that I've demonstrated how to use it for everybody, I'm going to make more serious one now. Okay, I'm going to use my mixtures again. And don't be afraid to make messes, okay? And try to scoop only the small bowls. Try to scoop only the small bubbles out. And it's fun and fascinating because when it pops, you can actually see where the bubbles were, right? What colors are you using, guys? And oh no, Jed made the bubbles overflow. <laughs> this is why I said that it can be very messy too. The art, this art activity can be very messy because when you um, use paint, 
or when you blow bubbles, it can get very messy. All right, so just keep going. Just keep making mixtures and colors and splashes. And you can put the colors on top of each other too. Da -da -da -da. Now I'm going to try to use the glue again. Again, please make sure you don't drink it. Just blow into the mixture. And you're gonna find that you made the biggest bubble. Caleb made the biggest bubble. <laughs> That's so cute. And you're gonna find that different materials make different kinds of color. So uh, for those of you using food coloring, it's actually the best one to use because it's the one that leaves the darkest marks on the page. If you're using paint, it depends on the washable markers. Oh, sorry, washable paint. Sometimes it's not as dark as the food coloring but it still leaves the nice mark, like a faded mark. If you're using the watercolor palette, it's actually really pretty. That's actually my favorite one to use because it looks so beautiful. And if you're using the markers, you'll see that it's actually really dark, of course, because you're using the colors of the markers too. You're using the, um, sorry, what's this? You're using the ink of the markers to make the colors and it's so beautiful. It's the darkest one of all. What? You know, whatever, whichever one you use, you're still able to come up with absolutely beautiful works. And you know what? This is fun to try out if you are um, having a party or if you're outdoors. You can make a bigger mess. You can try it out with your friends too or your cousins, you can show them how to do it with paint. Oh, and if you're done, sorry, if you're done, if you, um, if you're done and if you still wanna use, and you still have a lot of bubble mixture, you can actually blow these bubbles. And then you'll find that you're blowing colored bubbles. That's so pretty. Maddie is having so much fun. Oh, that's awesome. And Caleb made the biggest bubble. Not sure if what I'm doing is cool or not. I'm sure it's cool. I'm sure it looks cool, Sab. Here. So this is just a fun way, another fun way to make abstract art. Do you guys know what abstract art means? Do you guys know what abstract art means? Abstract means there's no clear shape or picture, really. So usually it's mostly just splashes of color. But it's still a beautiful picture and it still shows something really cool. There are a lot of abstract arts artists. They don't um, they don't draw actual shapes or figures. So they just draw lines or patterns or like this one, they splash on some bubbles on their page. I'm so glad you're having fun. Your bubbles won't come off your spoon. Okay, if your bubbles don't come off your spoon, you can um, use your straw to kind of like force them out like that. <laughs> Sometimes it has to happen like that. So you can uh, force them out gently with your straw. You want to show me? Well, Sab, you can show me so that you can um, post it. You can post it so that I can see it. So I hope that you guys can post it, or you can take videos. I hope your parents can take videos of yourself making um, the yeah. bubbles. And then you can tag us in ti hashtag tiny townies create and hashtag make believe at home. Because this is such a fun activity. Really cool. Now, if you guys... 
if you guys don't like your first artwork, you can always get you can always do another one. Maybe you just needed to practice the first time. The first time teacher did this ever. It did not look nice because I didn't know what I was doing. But the more I practiced or the more I tried it out, the more it actually looked really nice. And eventually, it was just one of my favorite things to do in class. There. Now make sure you breathe in between blowing the bubbles, okay? You might get a headache if you um, blow air out too much. So breathe, take breaks. There, like that. Ta -da 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 -da. I love how the splashes of colors look. You know this color is actually supposed to be yellow. This food coloring is supposed to be yellow. I don't know why it's orange. There you go. For those of you who are doing this for the first time, now making handprints. Oh no, you did get you got the biggest bubble, Ayana. And did you splash it onto your um? Did you splash it onto your paper? You guys can do this some other day too. You can do this anytime you want. Now that you know how to do it, it's very simple and very fun. How many of you actually used food coloring from your mom's kitchen? Maybe your mom likes to bake like red velvet cake. Or cakes. That's why she has lots of food coloring. There. I like using food coloring too. There. Now I'm going to try using the other, the other types of bubble art. So that I can explore. You just can keep doing that, guys. Just keep adding color into your mixtures. Just keep adding and adding. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do things. Remember the rule? Rule. Oh, what is that rule? Hmm, what color? I'm going to use red this time. Oops. There, that's my favorite. Adding the color onto the bubbles. It's so cool. It spreads, the color spreads. See, did you ever think you could make art with bubbles? It's so fascinating. You did it, good job! I'm so proud of you. It's a quick art activity today. Very simple, but very fun. Sab, you think you failed? I don't think so. Maybe try it again. Maybe you just have to practice. Because I, you you might not have gotten it right the first time, but that doesn't mean you're gonna get it you're not gonna get it right ever. You just have to keep going, remember? Keep adding. Just keep trying, guys. There. You're trying again with paint. Oh, that's so awesome, Ainoa. That's going to make your, um, your work look more vivid. It's going to be so much fun. Did any of you try using a food color? Or the watercolor palette? There. There, so you just can keep going. And then there are so many things that you can do with this pattern. With this work of yours, you can just leave it that way and frame it. Or you can post it on your wall or put it on your fridge or something. Or give it to your mom or your dad or whoever. Or you can actually cut it out. You can actually draw the letters of your name on top of it. 
and then cut it out so that it's colored that way. So it can kind of become like a background. Or you can draw on top of it. You can put like your favorite your name on it, or you can put your favorite word on it. Like if you want to put a sign that says dream or sign that says love or something like that. You can do that. That's something you can do. So up to you what you want to do with your artwork. Sky's the limit. There. You made a very yellowy one. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I can't wait to see what you guys did. I hope that you guys can show me what you guys did by uploading them on Facebook or Instagram with a hashtag tiny townies create or the hashtag make believe at home so that I can see. So your first try can be just your um, experiment and then once you get a hang of it, you can actually make an actual artwork. So this can just be your trial, trial round. Again, you can just keep doing this over and over at home. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because eventually once you keep trying, it looks so nice. Sab, you want to try again? I don't think you failed. What does it look like? Can you explain to us what it looks like? Can you explain to me what it looks like? Why do you say you failed? I just keep scooping it out. So you're like the wolf, huffing and puffing. Oh, I'm gonna huff. Now I'm going to puff, and I'm going to make a beautiful artwork. That. There. So doesn't the colors look, don't the colors, sorry, don't the colors look so nice. I hope you guys are having fun making the bubbles. You're very wet. Oh no, make sure that you have a towel next to you so that you can wipe yourself, or a tissue maybe. Or make sure that you change out of your wet clothes. Don't stay in your wet clothes. You don't have to huff and puff so, um, so strongly. You can uh, do that gently. There. And when you finish, oh, your artwork is very wet. Well, if your artwork is very wet, just leave it. It's actually really going to be wet first because, of course, you put a lot of soap and water on it. But leave it for a while. And then after, um, after a while, when it dries up, you're going to see the colors better. Of course, it's going to be a little bit wet. Actually, not a little bit. It's going to be a lot wet at the start. But eventually, once you once it dries up, it's gonna look really nice. So you gotta be patient with your artwork. You gotta wait for it to dry, so that you'll see the final output. Okay. And you can make designs out of this. You can actually make flowers if you want. There are some. I've seen some people make flowers out of their bubble art fish out of it so it's really up to you what you want to do if it's super wet you can stop working first and then just wait for it to dry up and then you can have another go so this is what because um the first one i did this one it was really 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 wet when i first did it this one too but eventually when it dried up it looked a lot better so there, our artwork is a little bit quick today, but it's a lot of fun. I hope that you guys had fun with it. I'm sure I did. 
and you can show it off um, you can show your friends how to do it too so that they can try it out at home there and you're done ta-da all right maybe you guys can wrap up of course you guys can keep going if you want to keep going because um, you have all the time in the world to keep doing this. You can do this every single day if you want to do this every single day. You can draw some stuff on it. Like if you see some figures on it, you can add some stuff into it. But if you're happy with it just being like that, just an abstract art, then you are definitely free to just leave it that way. Okay? But the point is that you found out today, you discovered that you can actually make really cool pictures with bubbles. You'll call this the igloo bubble. Aww! I feel like Maddie is having so much fun <laughs> with the way she's been commenting. I feel like she's been having so much fun. There, mix, mix splashes of colors. You made so many bubbles. I can imagine. I can imagine how much fun it is to make so much bubbles. It is even more fun when it overflows. But of course, that's a lot of mess. So... <laughs> Try not to make it overflow so much because that means your moms are gonna have to, your moms and your dads, and whoever's gonna clean up after you is gonna have to clean up a lot. And you're gonna get super wet if, it, if you make it overflow so much. So ease up on the blowing. But if they say go ahead, then go ahead and have fun. All right, she is. We posted a video and tagged you guys. Oh, that's so fun. I'm so excited to see that, Maddie. I wanna see how much fun you are having. There. So, today we learned that you can paint in the very weirdest ways possible. Weirdest ways and fun ways possible. You don't always have to just use your brush or your fingertips or your hands. You can use so many other things, like today, bubbles and your breath. You guys can try this every single day. And you can use this for your future art projects. And I'm just going to wrap up and then I'm going to flip the camera over and say a proper goodbye. Just one last color. You guys can keep going, okay? You don't have to stop. You don't have to stop when this video stops. So just keep having fun. This is actually fun to do in a garden. So if you guys have a garden, it would be great to do this in the garden. There you go. The teacher has a lot of things to clean up after this. <laughs> Not just your mom's, the teacher also. All right. It's time for me to flip the camera back and start to wrap up the class. Thank you, teacher. You enjoyed a lot. Thank you. Thank you also, Maddie. Oh my gosh, now you have a bubble wall. That's amazing. That's amazing, Maddie. I'm so excited. Take lots of photos and videos of yourself or even of the artwork when you're done. And post it with the hashtag TinyTownyScreate and the hashtag MakeBelieveAtHome. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera now so that I can wrap up and say goodbye to everybody properly. Hi! Did you guys have fun? I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun with you guys and I loved seeing the expressions on um, your comments, not on your faces. The expressions that you guys had when you guys were making the bubbles. I'm, I feel like a lot of you just really enjoy the bubbles. <laughs> and it's always fun for us to have bubble play and water play. So this is a, um, a good idea. This was definitely a good idea. And I hope that you guys can keep doing this in the future and you can share this video too. So if you guys have friends that you want to share this too, go ahead and share them. 
And don't forget to follow, of course, and like the Alabang Town Center Facebook page. And be a magic seeker and follow Make Believe Productions in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Teacher forgot to show it. YouTube and TikTok. And please join us on Friday. On Friday, we are going to have science experiments with teacher Arya. Oh my gosh. We're going to have some cool science experiments. So if you guys want to catch that and join us, we will be here at 3 p.m. on Friday on the Alabang Town Center Facebook page. And of course, we will be back next week for more fun and activities. All right. So don't forget to upload and to post and to tag us, hashtag tiny tiny create and hashtag make believe at home. Or if you're a bit shy, you can directly send it in our private messages. All right. So keep making art, guys. And huff and puff. Don't forget to breathe, okay? Breathe in between bubble blowing. And have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. And see you guys in the comment section on Friday. Bye, everybody. And thank you. Mwah. See ya.